time and uh, thank you for being here to listen to my story. I will read from the beginning of my novel, The War and the Four, which really has to uh, deal with pathways, which pathway to take for the protagonist. Here it is. Renata secretly lusted for other people's lives. She liked to guess what was missing between the lines she overheard at bus stops in cafes. At the end of her second year in Minneapolis, spoken English was still a bit difficult for her. And when tired, the words bit with tiny teeth. Just a few months before, she occasionally had to stop mid-sentence, trapped in a blur of English and Italian. She had loved that fear like when she was pushing and pushing on her bike at night in Milan until she went so fast the wind closed her ears to any sound but her breathing. She delighted in visiting thrift stores, a marvel that did not exist in Italy. The names themselves, Goodwill, Arc Value Village, Steeple People, sounded like discarded marquees of dubious establishments. Her father would have called them the ruin of the spirit, deadly traps of memories and relics. He thought the longing was an illness, not understood in all its gravity by the afflicted, by her. The goodwill in Bloomington, near the college of acupuncture she attended, was Renata's favorite. He gave her comfort, the way entering a church did for others. Under the eyes of the customers, the old merchandise seemed magically altered into a thing of beauty. No longer chipped cups and crude postcards, but pretty seashells to be picked up on a beach. She had learned in acupuncture classes that things were not what they seemed. During clinic practice, she still marveled that she could visualize precisely but not see the pathways of energy vibrating at the insertion of the needles, nudging the patient's body to heal itself. Even more extraordinary to her, at the breaks, Dr. Cheni Min, a pale master of acupuncture from Shanghai, went to splash water over his face, then smoked a cigarette. <laughs> he ate greasy pork from a tin lunchbox. No incense stick, no grim diets. Acupuncture was science to him, and the energy of the chi, a kind of electricity to touch. The final exam to obtain the acupuncture license was a practical test, patients to diagnose, and a treatment plan to be written out in detail. Some of the patients, rumor had it, were actors, and some, Dr. Chen's cousins, they were paid a nominal fee and given lunch. For the occasion, Renata bought an elegant shirt for $3.99, labeled <laughs> on something or other, End of my student visa, she told herself while putting it on. End of life in America, unless she pressed instructors for talks about a possible future at the clinic. Should she go back to Italy or try to stay? She fought a revolt Italian school primer. Little Maria had three apples, a dog had four legs, her bird two wings, and there were five steps to the front door. Renata always wanted to be Maria and live in a house where nothing ever happened but math. Nothing at all was disturbed by the messiness of desire and never, ever would be. Thank you.